What's up, Gaming Nights Commune back at you here. Gonna do a review video today. I've had the PSVR, I've had it now for about four going on five months. So I think that's plenty of time. I play probably, I don't know, 10, 15 games, including, you know, demos and ones I bought, I bought like, honestly, I bought like, Jesus, I wanna say eight or nine. So probably like 15, hell, maybe even 20 games to be honest with you at this point. So I feel like, you know, I, I, I have enough experience uh, to determine on whether or not, you know, it's something that you should really invest, you know, 500 you know or so dollars in you know just to start up so uh, i'm gonna go over everything with you uh including the newest device um which is the aim which is a gun uh for you know shooting games like your far points and your uh, bravo teams and uh, actually some other games that's coming out and we could talk about those you know in another video or something but um, so yeah, I'm gonna just go over a, a review with you, especially for people with the eyeglasses and the headset. I did make a video when I first got it. So again, now that I've had it for as long as I have, I can tell you, you know, the ups and downs, the highs and lows, and there's some lows. I mean, I, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you on this. So if you could for me, if you like what you see, just go ahead and click that little subscribe button, click the like button, so that way when uh, I make other videos you're most likely to get notified about and also subscribe to me again So if you like what you're seeing here today, there's going to just be more things like it in the future So let's let's get right to it. So let's first start just with the headset. I mean at the end of the day That's what it all comes down to um, This is the newer version headset So, you know if you are to buy because there was an older one when it first came out everybody knows first gens uh, and this is the second gen. my uh, Analysis is it's still worth it as far as the headset goes now. I can say uh, being a glasses wear that the design I honestly don't see What they can do to make it better for us except Extending The nose pieces these nose pieces here. They're flexible, right? So, and so are these plastic pieces. So they are made to fit around your eyes. I mean, even if you do have glasses on, they fit brilliantly. So I don't want, I don't want what I'm about to say to take away from it for everybody out there who has glasses, all right? It's still worth it. But if you was to wear it normally, and I, I'm gonna go over the difference here. If you was to wear this thing normally, I guess. Right. So this is normal according to the standards of of regular wares but what you get as a glasses wear is after you you know you make a fit you still get a tiny bit of light now it's not now when you're in game and it's it's bananas it's not a distraction and again it doesn't it, it's not enough to make you not get it but there is space there so they can definitely with these nose pieces just make the flaps come out a little bit more on the edges right pretty much right here just right around the nose area just make them a little bit longer so they come down a little bit more but however I can see where the design flaw would be wrong because if it comes down further then now it's starting to impede on the nostrils so they need to figure a way out if they care enough to where it could fit just a little bit better right here so another thing that happens with glasses wears is that if you wear it normally then the the screen is more blurred so if you if you do and look at other reviews about the the headset you will you'll notice that it's blur that some of the things they talk about is the blurriness now the blurriness comes with the way that it's fitting on your eyes so it doesn't fit on our eyes the same because our lenses are in a way and if we push it all the way up then we scratch the lenses not only on our glasses but on the surface of the lenses and you don't want that so what i do to compensate and you'll see you just put it on as normal as you normally would but so again you avoid it hitting and contacting your lenses you just adjust the headset now instantly as soon as i do that it's dark everywhere but as a result of that, there is a little bit more pressure again on your nostrils. So when you're first going with this style, it, it can be 
a little annoying in the beginning. It can be because you, you kind of feel like your breathing is constricted in a weird way, but it's definitely not, and you get over it, you know, once you start playing the game. But that is something to get used to if you adapt that style. And me personally, I suggest it because otherwise you're going to be dealing with two things actually you're going to be dealing with a little bit of space at the bottom by your nose and by your cheeks and you're going to be dealing with not good visuals or, or visuals as good as they they can be by just adjusting that just a couple of degrees up on your head so that is my perception of the headset now as far as the overall experience let's talk about that before we even go any further it's absolutely out of this world I mean, there, there, it's, it's out of this world. Nothing I'm saying, nothing about any of these things that I say that can be taken in a negative way should deter you from getting this stuff, all right? Because even the most basic of games on here, I mean, games that, that on the outside, if somebody's watching you play, they look like they're made for a, a, a seven-year-old, an eight-year-old, a nine-year-old, but when you are in this damn world, it is something that you just cannot explain unless you have tried it. That's all I can really say. So it's worth it in every aspect of the game. I mean, in every aspect of the idea, in every as aspect of the equipment, in every aspect of the price, in every aspect of the quality of games, aspect of the games that's coming out, it is all 100% worth it. Not even 99.9. .9. This is more, this is more absolute than like a condom and STDs. Like it's a wrap. Like, roll with it and the games aren't expensive the experience is cheap the experience like, is better even a couple of games i've actually gotten motion sick on <clears throat> i didn't think that was possible for me but the world was so immersive that i i i just couldn't handle it there's just no other way to say it so yeah so as far as the joysticks go battery life is absolutely ridiculous as you can see they're both on one of them's activated one of them isn't that's why this one's red but Excuse me, dry throat. But uh, the battery life is, uh, I can't even remember, like I said, the last time I charged these things. So excellent there. Comfortable in your hand. Triggers are where they should be. Uh, playing Skyrim, uh, where, I mean, the interactive and the immersiveness of both arms, you know, is, is something. And, it, and it's not delayed. It's never delayed. You're never swinging. And then swinging like I mean if you're holding your hands like this and you got a little bit of a shake to your hand you're it's it, it's crazy all right so there it's it, the spot the response is spot on again every game I've played I'm not just talking about one every game I've played it, it's spot on a lot of the games also just have the regular controller you can just use your dual shot but if you really want to live and this is the point, like, you know, you want to go there, then I definitely suggest the motion, all right, without a doubt. So just going ahead and get the bundle. I also got a video, the bundles are now forever lower. They're only $300 now to get this stuff right here. So it's ready to go. And now they're coming with games with the Gran Turismo's. You can probably get a Skyrim bundle. Uh, you could probably do the uh, the Doom bundle. Then of course, um, they're starting to make a lot more games that are involved with shooting. Again, Bravo Team is probably the most recent one, really, that is, you know, 100%, you know, interactive with your piece. And again, uh, I think they nailed it with it. Everything's exactly where it should be, um, exactly how as if you was holding a controller. Using this is no different than using a controller, and again, you aim, there's no delay. You do everything and it does everything with you. It's, it's exactly how it should be, it works. All of this stuff works, man. So um, if I was to give it a grade, um, you know, of course A plus B in the highest, I would probably, I would, I would go with an A minus. Uh, and the reason I'm not going with an A is just for the things that I said about the glasses. Um, so 
it can't be overlooked if you're a glasses wear. I mean, you, you, can, you can play like people without glasses with the system, but you're going to have a better experience more like the people without glasses if you make adjustments. And therefore, since you have to make adjustments, you, you, you have to go down to an A minus for that. The reason it's not an A plus is because I don't think anything's perfect. Give it the highest grade that I can possibly give it um, with minor, minor subtractions on a minor, minor thing. So now again, that could just be me and my personality and my willingness to accept that. Some people might feel like that they spend that much money that it should just come ready to go and you don't have to make adjustments. Well, I mean, we wear glasses, like let's get real. Let's, you have to be honest with yourself. But if you do not wear glasses, then I would honestly say that this was, is an A product for you. This is an A product. It's still not going to be an A plus because again, nothing is perfect. But damn, all right? I mean, damn. Non-glasses, you are an A. Glasses wear, you are an A minus, little bit of an improvement I would like to see on the headset. Overall, I recommend this above anything else that it is going on in gaming. I don't really care what the game is. Now, of course, I am addicted to Monster Hunter World, so you know, if you wanted to see my hours, you can clearly see where I've been spending a lot of my time lately, but what can I say? Yeah, what can I say? Um, another thing might be a lazy gamer or in other words, you just, even though you have the motion controllers, you know, you are in the headset, you're just, you know, it's still amazing. It doesn't matter. But if you don't like all of this, if you don't like holding your arms here sometimes for an extended amount of time, you know, you're looking everywhere. You're turning all the, I mean, if you don't like to be ex active, you know, I'm not gonna say extra active because you don't have to stand up. Some games I feel like you do. Some games I also feel like you have to have a, a big space. Uh, for instance, uh, super, uh, super hot, hot VR or whatever it is where I, I have it, but I haven't played it in a while, but you're, it's a shooter, but it goes off of your motions. Um, so, the more space for that game, the merrier. It's not like that for all games, but some games you do need more than just this desk space and what you see here, or a love seat space. I say if you can put your, if you sit in the middle of a love, love seat and you can put your arms out and your arms are actually, or your hands are touching the arms, then you're ju just in the space that you could comfortably fit most games. But for instance, like uh, the Super Hot VR or a Batman, uh, I think you need more because sometimes you have to reach down and uh, sometimes you have to reach over a lot. So the games like that, but again, overall, this space here, uh, you know, wingspan space is, is enough. But again, some games, man, some games, it is the real deal. And like, you know, your shoulders, you know, your shoulders, man, you can feel it sometimes. So that's about the only thing I could say as far as physical activity uh, with it as well. Again, nothing that's going to stop you from wanting to buy this. Nothing. So buy this. We need more in our community. A lot of us, but we need a lot more. It's going to keep going. This isn't going anywhere. It's only going to get better. You might as well get in in the beginning. Call it a day. All right. So... That's really about all I have there. So if you like the video, go on ahead and again, click that like button, subscribe so we can make more videos like this. I love making them. I'm going to make them regardless, but I'd really like to bring you in on it. If you have any comments or questions, I answer all comments and that's just the way it gets down. So um, yeah, I will see you on the battlefield or I will see you in the playroom or I will see you in space or I will just see you just walking around like, Let's go, all right? Let's go. All right, Gaming Addicts, man. I'll holler at y'all.